Hey guys, Matthew here. So today we're going to be doing another video, taking apart my PlayStation One. So this is just the um, well, an, uh, one of the earlier models, well the later models, should I say, because it doesn't have the composite ports right on it, and it doesn't have that parallel connector as well. It does have the serial I/O, LV multi out, and the power port. Um, <coughs> so yeah, we're going to be uh, tearing this down. Um, yeah, this PlayStation One, the top loading drive. It squeaks a little. And then we're going to show you all the insides, and uh, yeah, let's get started. So, things you'll need. Just, uh, my wires out the way. Um, <coughs> you'll need, the only thing you'll need is, well, a Phillips screwdriver. That's how I used yesterday. So, get your Phillips screwdriver, and flip the console over, and there is six screws on the there are six screws on the console. Very easy to remove. So, yeah, they're just long, well, not longer. They're quite small, actually. Um, so, just there's six of those on the bottom. And then the top will come off. Just take these off. So we've got four of them removed. There is the fifth one here. And the sixth one. Now, I have taken this part quite a few times. The first time I got this, I took it apart to clean it. So I'm just doing a video shooting. You've had to take it apart. Okay, so now we're going to turn it over and lift up the top cover. But so this is the cover. I'll look at this more detail in a minute. Just plot the server to the side. So this is the innards of the PlayStation 1. So you get your power supply and your DVD drive and main balls here. So first things first, we're going to lift out all the major components. So we're going to lift up this DVD drive thing there. So pull out this ribbon cable here. It's a, it's a, bit, it's a bit stuck. But there you go. Pull it out. And then there's this data cable here which you can just pull up on. And then you can lift out the drive assembly. So pull that to the side. And then what you've got here is the ribbon cable here, which you can remove from the main board. It's a very flat ribbon cable. And also this power cable here, which you can pull up on here and on the power supply side as well. That. So now we want to remove the two screws up here. These are the slightly different colours, but all the all the inside screws are the same, so you don't really need to bother sorting those. Now this PSU is completely exposed, so just be careful with it. But it's fairly safe. So grab it by the plastic parts and well, lift it up. You can grab the sides of the board. So, right, so this is the power supply, it's, well, it's, uh, I'm not really sure what wattage it is, or what, to be honest, but there you go, power supply, I think it says on the bottom how much wattage it says, uh, it uh, takes 10 watts, so it's not that powerful, but you get the point. So next we're going to remove the T-screws outside of the uh, thing here. And then lift up on this. Like that. Um, this is the cart the uh, cartridge and joy cups box thing. It's pretty cool. And I will start to ready to take off the top IO shield, so there's a few screws in the top. Oh. 
quite a few screws here. Just to remove because you know. <sighs> I'm sorry if I sound a bit quiet on these videos. I just don't know why I'm so quiet. But anyway, you should be able to hear me just fine with my head like I'm a centimetre away from the microphone. Take out the last screw. Well, no, there's two more actually. There's this one, and then there's another screw, and there's another one here. And then that's all the screws out the system. So there is literally like six. There's like ten, maybe twelve screws in this whole system. It's ridiculous. So this whole board should lift out now. There's that screw. And here is the top IO plate. It's very small. Nothing really, it's just a plate. And here are the uh, main board. So it just comes straight out. There is all the uh, chips on it. It's quite a big thing. It's actually quite small for a logic board of these days. So I reckon this or this is the processor. One of these is the GPU. So the system memory is about two game two megs, and the graphics memory is one meg. One of these is a static RAM chip. Not sure. It's probably this. I think this might be the static RAM. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, looks like it. I'm not sure. On the back, it's just like that. It's no crystal on this board. Maybe it doesn't need one. I don't know. There's lots of little capacitors. There's little surface mount shit. Everything is surface mounted on this board. It's ridiculous. Uh, lots of little bits and bobs. Very cool. So, let's plop this over to the side. And then, last but not least, is the bottom arrow shield. Now, mine's got a few. As you see, it's rusted quite badly. That is, that is bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if this has got worse since I last opened this, but <laughs> there's also this little bit at the front. Yeah, very uh, very cool um, piece, very nice. And then we just got the bottom cover, so not really much in here, just plastic. So yeah, let's uh, put this thing back together, I guess. There's not much else to show you other than the top case piece, which I'll do when I reassemble the console. So, if you don't want to watch the reassembly, you can watch this in reverse or whatever, but I'm just going to reassemble it right here for you guys. Um, if I can remember which way this goes on, this way, I think. No. Nope. Uh. Ah. So, and then this bit goes here. And then the logic board can go back in its place. And the little posts. Uh, you can put the top IR shield on. Just like this. Very easy. And you put this piece back in. These are the front ports. Plugs in there. Uh, you can put the power supply back in. Grab it by the edges, don't touch any of the components. Very, very uh, skeptical about power supplies. Just try and wiggle it back in. Make sure you can see what I'm doing as well. To keep looking at the camera. Make sure you are seeing what I'm seeing. Sometimes these. Uh, Old power supplies can get a little annoying to put back. It's supposed to slide down this groove, I think. Well, on this side first, I reckon, but I'm not sure. There is a fuse on here, so if you want to, if fuse goes, I guess it's there. And there's the power supply back in, and then we'll put the DVD drive back in. <coughs> so don't touch the laser part because you don't want to break it. Um, so let's just plop this back down on the uh, rubber feet thing. 
guess that goes on like that. And then reconnect the data and power. I'm not really sure what these connectors are, I think they're just power and data, I guess. And also, don't forget to install the uh, power. It goes on this way. It has some little like things on it. I think this is just to add weight, I'm not sure, but it is a pretty uh, hefty console. Anyway, I don't reckon it'll break anytime soon. Which way this power supply connector goes on, but it goes on anyway. I think it just clips in like that. Yep. <coughs> so now we need to reinstall all of the little screws, which uh, there is a few of them. Quite a lot. So, wherever you see a screw inside the wherever you took a screw out of the console you need to put them back in except obviously don't put the screws in for the bottom because obviously there's like a hole here that screw will go straight through hole because that is where one of the top screws goes so make sure you remember where the screws go <laughs> because you know anyhow these two is these two screws hold the pass plate it's ridiculous it's quite a uh, uh, amazing actually. Make sure your password is actually lined up in the hole in that bottom left actually because mine isn't. Well, now it is. And there you go. Example of doing something wrong. I've put the wrong screw there. And I've probably poked it through the bottom without realising. So don't do what I did. I'm be an idiot. That screw back in. I think that yeah, that's the poke for me. Screw it goes here. Screwdriver on flipped. Screw here. Oh. So this won't be as long as the uh, Xbox video, so this is not a much uh, thing. So I will show you that it, in fact, did survive the teardown in a minute. Because I have a setup which it's actually uh, it is connected through. HDMI this also. Well, it will do once it's uh, reassembled. The reassembly. Yeah, it's good. Now you should have, uh, I think there's two more that I need to put in. I'm not sure where though. Uh, yeah. One goes here, I think. Yep. And then the other one goes. There. Oh, this is water. Yes, as you can tell, I really don't know where all the screws go. Yep, yeah, underneath the power connector. Ah. So now we can have a look at the lid. It's just a very simple push ring. If you want to, you can push these buttons out to clean them, I guess, or something. They're just two clips on either side, and then the buttons, well pop out. This is the power button and it has a spring underneath it. So don't lose the spring. So the spring button actually pushes this on the power spline. This is the power button. And it has a on off position so that pushed in is well pushed on and pushed out is off. This is the reset switch. This resets this basically resets the power supply signal so it resets the system. So it display turns this off and on again. So the power comes through here and into the system and powers it. So, and yeah, reset is just a button. Very simple lid. So now I'm going to plop the lid back on the console and flip it over and put in the bottom screws. 
which is, uh, well, they're easy to put in. Definitely. Whoa. Keep the console together so I don't tip it up and then it all goes everywhere. Love them. Even more interesting video. Probably should actually get my Xbox warmed up before uh, we uh, start this, because my Xbox takes a few long, few minutes to uh, warm up. I might, I might do the PlayStation 2 tomorrow. In fact, not tomorrow. Maybe next week, Monday. Okay, so now uh, PlayStation is uh, reassembled. Lovely. Pretty. It's all done. And yes, yeah, so we can uh, test this out now. So I'm just waiting for my Xbox to warm up. Probably it's probably going to take a while actually. So just hang on a minute. Oh no, it's on. Let me just turn on my controller. Get the thing warmed up. Turn over to the TV option. Because, yes, just don't put my contraption here. So, this is the B roll set. This is the set. Yeah, look, yes, so cool. Right, so uh, I've got a new TV signal at the minute, but uh, I should do. Um, well, I'm not really sure. Yeah, I should have a TV signal, but I don't. So. No, it's not broken. So I'm just unplugging my PlayStation now. Even if I can't get the display to work. Still so I'm just gonna put the, push my PlayStation down here and shut my Xbox a bit so I can get this snapped. So uh, you gotta actually see what's going on. Uh, so this is the video connector. I'll plug this into my PlayStation. And also, I'll plug the power cable in. So we can get power. Mm. PlayStation. Very nice. Uh, I actually should get power from this. And now I've got to figure out why. And I believe the power to the uh, data. No. Plugged in. Adapters playing havoc, but have you? Maybe you propped up there a second while I pull my computer out. Find out why this stupid adapter's not working. I think it just needs plugging and plugging back in again. Uh, oh, I think that fixed it. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I fixed it. Right, so now what we need to do is just uh, power on the PlayStation Zero. Watch. Shut the lid. Not come on. So. And do you see? Hey? I should be ending this week. And do you see? Oh, yeah. Alright, so the place isn't as working. Let's stick a game in it to see if it actually reads it. Which we didn't damage the issue. So I've got a uh, Tokotori Car Championship. It's the like, only one of two games. The other one's a jet racing game, but that. So do you know what? I'm going to leave the lid open, but you can't press this unless you press this button. You can see the disc spinning. Because it looks cool. So you can see it's coming up, and on here it should, in a minute, yeah, here we go. It's loading up. 
So this is sort of a bonus thing if anybody is watching and you like Playstations, this is for you. The other game is loading. And there you go. Game is loading. You can't really see what the game is. <laughs> well, it's this. It's like racing cars. So. I mean, it looks pretty terrible. Ugh. It's coming through my uh, Xbox 1. Yeah, so. I'm not taking that one. I've already taken that once to uh, fix the DVD drive. It's a tension. And uh, yeah, so if I uh, let go of the disc, the whole game crashes, and that's why it has a reset button. So you can reset the power supply, and the whole thing comes back. I want to see that start screen, but it's not coming up when the uh, console boot. Oh, wait, it is. Yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> right, so we know that the PlayStation works, so let's just turn this thing off. Plug the power. Switch back. This and this off, and then we'll sort that in a minute. Well, yes, this is my desktop, my computer, keyboard, yeah, I've said that yesterday. Um, right, so that's the end of this video. Uh, hope you liked it. Hope you fixed your PlayStation if there's something wrong with it. Um, yeah, so I will see you again Monday, I guess, if I do my uh, PS2. So, yeah, see you soon.